So at first I was hesitant to share this experience with you, but then I remember that my channel is all about documenting my learning process, which of course inevitably involves making mistakes and encountering failures. So with that in mind, I've decided to share this episode with you along with a brief spring vlog and some poorly processed images. Um, before I dive into what happened, let me tell you that if you are sensitive to damaged film images, this video might not be for you. I mean, really, my images are washed out and extremely dusty and through this video I let you know why. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ever since I started developing color film, the process has been very straightforward and kind of simple, I have to say. However, this time something happened. <sighs> well, <laughs> I knew that my chemicals were already expired, but I thought I could stretch their duration a little longer. I read that this could be possible considering that the last time I developed the colors looked perfectly fine. Of course, I was aware that I was taking a risk. Nonetheless, I went ahead and use them to develop this roll, which by the way is a Kodak Ultramax 400. I still think these chemicals could have worked, but at the moment of processing I noticed that the bottle of my developer wasn't properly closed. I have to say that I didn't pay any attention to that at the moment of processing and I only remember it after seeing the results. I was extremely confident that the whole process would be as smooth as usual. However, as you can see, and to my surprise, the outcome was far from what I had anticipated. Let me take a short pause from the vlog and show you what the negatives look like. You can hardly see or distinguish the images. Actually, at first I thought the negative was completely blank, but then I paid more attention and I realized that I could see some details in some parts, so I decided to scan them anyway, just in case. Fortunately, I supposed I was able to get all the images. Well, yes, I mean, of course, I prefer these washed out images instead of nothing. So, um, if you have already noticed, some are clearer than others. Um, and yeah, at least I could savage something. Needless to say, I was super frustrated by the experience. I had really been looking forward to capturing the beauty of a spring day on film, and yet it didn't turn out as I had hoped. However, now as time went by, I've come to view this episode as part of my learning curve. Um, also, I guess there's always a risk on developing film at home, so yeah, things can happen. Also, uh, such accidents uh, pushed me to research and learn more about film, which is fantastic. Um, now I have a better understanding of what properly developed negatives are supposed to look like. And yeah, I guess that's pretty cool because I can see how I'm learning, you know. Um, so yeah, that's it regarding this experience. Well, those are the images. Also, they are super dusty, I know. <laughs> and this is due to my frustration because um, I didn't treat the negatives with much love, I have to say. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, I hope my experience can be useful for you in some way and just remember to storage your chemicals properly. <laughs> and well, um, also before I sign off, uh, I want to share something with you. Since I've made photography my focus this year, I've compiled a list of books about photography, art and aesthetics that I intend to read. The first book on my list is Camera Lucida by Roland Barthes, which I'm almost finished with and really, really enjoying. In this book, Barthes reflects 
on the nature of photography and explores the emotional impact of it. It's a super interesting and sensible book to read. Probably you already read it or at least you have heard about it because it's a pretty relevant book. So um, if you haven't read it yet and if you like to reflect on photography, I think it can be very enlightening. Even though it was written in 1979, I think it's still super relevant. Also, I found it secondhand on eBay for a very convenient price and I'm sure there are other secondhand copies out there that you can find. So, um, in case you're interested in reading about these kind of topics, I will be sharing some of the books I read every now and then, uh, in case they are also useful for you. And yeah, with that, I think I will end this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and for always being so kind in your comments. I really, really appreciate it. Alright, so until next time, bye bye.